What's up, y'all? How y'all doing, man? I hope y'all day went well, man. It's Darium Jr., man. Welcome to Hallelujah Gang. So, I don't know if any how many people seen my intro video, but I pretty much, um, I started out by saying I'm just a young man striving to usher the world to seek a relationship, to seek a relationship with Christ. So, I want to talk to you today about, um, how do I go by establishing a relationship with Christ? Like, what is a relationship with Christ? So, of course, I wanted to be a geek, so um, I went and looked up the relationship, like, a relationship definition. Like, what is it? And um, it says, um, the state of being connected by blood. And I was geeked by that definition because we are definitely connected to Jesus by blood. You know, he died on the cross. By his stripes, we are healed. We are definitely connected in blood. So, big thing about a relationship. Man, let's, let's compare this thing. All right, so... Let's say um, someone is pursuing you in a relationship, right? They're pursuing you. They say they want to be in a relationship with you. You know, they want, they really want to be with you, but they only hit you up every morning and night. Good morning. You text them back. Good morning. How you doing? They don't hit you back up tonight before they about to go to sleep. Like, um, good night. My day was okay. I'll talk to you tomorrow. You're like, okay. It keeps happening. Then that slacks off. And they, they'll hit you up on the weekend. Like, say if you're a dude, the girl hitting you up, like, what you doing today? You think you could, you know, help me on this bill? You think you could pay for this? You're like, no, because you, you're seeking my benefits. You're not seeking me. You don't want a relationship with me. You just want the things I could give you. Or say, like, for a female, right? If every time that dude hitting you up who claim he wants to be in a relationship with you, but every time he wants to talk about sex, you're not going to want to be in a relationship with him because he's seeking what you can give him. He's seeking your benefits. He's not seeking you. He don't want, he not wanting to get to know you. He's seeking benefits from you, right? Same thing with God, right? We can't just hit God up when times are going bad and expect God to move. If I want a relationship with God, I got to talk to him. You know what I'm saying? Back in Luke 9, 23, right? God said, whoever wants to be my disciple has to pick up his cross daily and follow me daily. It's a daily walk with God. You got to pick up your cross daily and follow him. You got to talk to God throughout the day. One thing, how you know you really in a good relationship, right? If you're in a relationship with a person, right? One, how you know you're in a good relationship is when y'all could be completely honest with each other, right? We completely honest and we telling each other everything because when you're doing that, that makes you vulnerable to them. That, that, that makes you vulnerable because I'm opening it up to them. I'm telling them everything about me. I'm opening up my heart. I'm leaving myself open because that, that has, that's, that's having faith in them that they won't break my heart, that they won't do me wrong, they won't cheat on me, they won't expose my business to everybody. That's having faith in that person. So we have to have the same type of faith in God. We want a relationship with God. I need to tell God every single thing. I need to tell him these things. Open up to him and have a relationship and be vulnerable because that takes faith. And I'm going to tell you something. Unlike those people, God God's not going to break your heart. God's not going to have you strung out crying because he's cheating on you or anything like that. God is a jealous God. He loves that you come to him like that. So you have to... Every single day, talk to him. None of us are perfect. We are all human. So it's something we could tell God every day. Man, we could be at, in, in, at work or something. We might have someone we don't really care for, right? God, help me with her today. Help me. Strengthen me so I won't, I won't go off on her. Strengthen me. It's, it's all the time. Every day we have the same things we could talk about with God. And believe me. Like, it's, it's, it's something every day, right? And we don't have to talk to God on our knees every day. We don't have to be this full, drawn-out parents, um, prayer or talking in tongues all day. When you're speaking with God, you can speak through God in your car, in your living room. You don't have to be on your knees praying. Just speak to God. Remember, it's a relationship. Jesus said you were, you know, Jesus said you was his friend in John 15, 15. You are his friend. God, you are, that's your father, right? So, Seek that relationship. Speak to him. Talk to him about everything. That's why he said, cast all your burden on him. Talk to him about everything. That's how you establish a relationship. If you're just going to church, right, 
on Sundays or you talk to him morning and night. You don't really have a relationship with God. That's really not going to get you through the gates. You got to speak through him every day. It's a daily walk. You want peace? That's Jesus. You want joy? That's Jesus. You want you want to get over that anxiety, depression? That's Jesus. If you want, if you have a broken heart, you have a holy heart, unforgiveness, past issues from your child, any of those things you want to be fixed, that is Jesus. None of us are perfect. We all have a void in our life, right? That nothing that can fix it except Jesus. Only the Spirit of God could change you. We all have to remember this about relationship. Seek a relationship with Christ. If you have a relationship with Christ, He will move in your life like never before. He will do things for you like you've never seen before. But you got to be willing to establish a relationship with Him. And remember, when you establish a relationship with Him, you got to be driven to get this relationship. you got to be driven. Remember, motivation comes and goes. I get motivated every day. But it comes and goes. But when you're driven, nothing will get in the way of you doing that. You got to be driven to have a relationship with him. If you're driven, nothing's going to stop you from having a relationship with Christ. Get that relationship. Let him move in your life. Let him work in your life. Let him come in your heart and change those things. Making your heart pure. Making your agendas and your motives pure. God can do it, man. God really can do it. I'm going to do nothing. Do nothing. Out of, out of selfish, selfish ambition and vain consent. Nothing. Instead, do it in humility. In humility. Do it in humility. Value others over yourself, man. And, and when you're doing this, when I, the reason why I said that, because in this relationship, you got to make it pure. Don't just go seeking God just for his benefits. I want a relationship for his benefits. Do it to seek his heart and his face more than anything. Remember, we got a destiny. We got a life after this life we're here now. It's about getting to see his face and his heart. Because if you get his heart, you could be able to see his face. Okay, look, though. You might have somebody watching this video who might not even have Jesus in their heart, period. Don't even have, you know, a relation, not even a relationship, just nothing with Christ. So, look, if you don't, it's okay, man. Look, just repeat after me, right? God, you know my sins. I come to you just as I am. I believe Jesus Christ is indeed the only begotten child of God. And I believe he was born into this planet as flesh. And I believe he was crucified. And I believe that the Lord, that Jesus Christ was slain, buried, and resurrected on the third day. And now he's up in heaven and he sits on your right hand side. I believe this was done so I could have eternal life. If you just did that, I'm so geek for you. Because <laughs> now, now Jesus is in your heart, man. Hey, y'all have a great day. I love y'all, man. Establish that relationship with Christ. It's nothing like it. He'll show you things and do things for you. No other man can. No other woman can. Or nothing, no one can. Everybody have a great day, man. Hallelujah, gang.